Blessings and welcome to Wallflower Healing. I'd like to thank you for choosing me today. I'm back with the message for Sagittarius. My sages, please take what resonates and leave what does not. Sagittarius, your energy is potent. I was actually going to do a live for Libra, but it was like, I don't want to say you guys are pick me's, but it's like, I feel like somebody's going to hit on a pick me three, pick three in a lotto. So if you play a lotto and you play pick three, I think you're going to hit. Sagittarius, as you can see, in every fire, there is a blue flame. That's something I need you to remember. A lot of you are just so much in your passion and your fiery energy, you're forgetting your emotion, your water. The water cools everything down. It soothes. It heals. So you need to tap into your emotions. I also heard a channel message of, excuse me, but I'm going to say it. The views don't like, the. my views don't match my likes. These hating ass demonic bitches. <laughs> <laughs> well that was pretty inevitable so that's what i feel like you need to tap into your water because you're feeling burnt out you're feeling burnt out you need to Maybe some of you need to go visit your mom. Let your mom take over. If you're a parent, let your mom take over. Let her give you a break. Take a break. It's okay to take a break. That's you tapping in your energy. That's you tapping into your higher knowing, knowing when you need to rest. You need to rest, Sagittarius. All right. Some of y'all need your mama's love. Um, yeah, I hope this alarm don't go off again. So let's go into the message for Sagittarius. What message do I have for Sagittarius? Blessings. Thank you for choosing me. Is something raw? So if you eat sushi, be mindful. But I also feel like raw skin, like sensitive skin. It's gonna. Somebody's going to have a reaction from something touching flesh to flesh. So allergies can be important. See, look, the devil. Something bad is going to transpire. It's something with skin, something raw, something with allergies. So be mindful of what you're doing, what you're around. Be mindful of lotions or fragrances that you decide to purchase or wear. Sagittarius, I feel like you have very sensitive skin. What is... All right. That's true, the Ace of Cups, but um, the prominent energy for you right now is emotional fulfillment. Some of you can have been crying a lot. I feel like it's an awakening, it's an enlightenment, because this is God's cup. So you're feeling, you're feeling full with the glory of God? Wow, what's going on? <laughs> A sailing team dropped when I said that. You're filling full with the glory of God. Some of you are just, I really feel like this is like asking God like to help me, like putting all your burdens, all your stressors, all your concerns, all your emotional worries to God. It's like surrender. I feel like this is surrendering. Yeah, look, there goes your energy, the nine of wands. Somebody needs to surrender. It's like, Whatever path you're on right now, you have been given a new opportunity in life and you feel it's your passion, it's yours, but it's overwhelming in your mind. Um, you're stressed out mentally. You sometimes feel like you don't know who you could trust, who you can be around. You feel stuck. Somebody feels really stuck. I see a cycle. I see the ride at the amusement park that goes in circles. Like, you know, you sit in it and you're against the wall and it's just spinning, but it's like... What I see is everybody else, you're on the ride. Everybody else is still spinning and you're standing still. You see everybody else in their loops and their success, but you aren't moving. So what I can say to you, Sagittarius, is perspective is maybe you were the trigger. Maybe you were the stimulus. Sometimes you're not always on the opposite end. Sometimes you are the stimulus, but the stimulus is very important. So play your role and play it right. What else we have here for Sagittarius? Somebody needs to look up what the word stimulus means. 
all right so there we go not the stimulus stimulus check like stimulus and science it's like it's um how do i explain it to you guys it what it's it's the engine it's what gets something going it's the spark it's what creates something followed up with the chariot I feel like after I said what I just said, someone is feeling a little bit more emotionally content. Yeah, see? in the Six of Swords. Someone's feeling a little bit more emotionally content, and now they know that they can have harmony and they can move forward. Change your perspective on certain things. Well, this overall energy is just like... Family matters can be a little hectic right now. Home, work, children, siblings, cousins, whatever the case may be. It can be a little crazy dynamic. You can have felt like... You're coming out of a period of being stressed, of feeling deceptive, of waiting, of a waiting, of a strong waiting, of a strong yearning. And now you're in the energy of being there. Everything that you've been waiting for, you're actually being catapulted into. And so you have more clarity spiritually. You have harmony at home, family. Some of you may have needed to just take a little trip with just you, your man, and your child, or whoever, just to clear your mind for a little bit. Just a little getaway. Or it may be needed for some of y'all. Just a tiny little getaway. Yeah, somebody needs to heal. And look, somebody needs to take a trip to, to heal. And this is not a quick, like, the trip may be quick, but the healing process is everlasting. You got a lot of... uh Somebody needs to isolate themselves from the world too cuz I I'm back to that raw skin so I feel like you're easily your your aura is easily penetrated Sagittarius so you need to do more isolation the the star and a chariot is sticking out for me this is a healing time for you I'm back to me saying at the beginning every fly, every fire has a blue flame the blue flame is also like um, um, something type of awakening. Where is that? Do I have it? I'm, I'm thinking of this card. Yeah, see, I want to read you what this says about the blue flame. For whatever reason, it's on my mind right now. Hopefully, it's this one. Maybe not. Yeah, it is. So, the blue flame. Number 40 can be important for somebody. Spontaneous awakening, see? Activation, integration time. This is a card of awakening and energetic upgrades. Perhaps you're going through a period of spontaneous awakening, receiving visions, and having experiences that are out of the ordinary. In the West, little is known about the process of spontaneous awakening, and it can feel very scary while we're going through it alone. Elsewhere, they can be seen as an, um, experiences with those going through them being treated with tender care. The blue beings are thought to be activating beings with great potential for healing and upgrading our cellular structures. They appear in moments of extreme awakening, activating a physical kundalini awakening and deep cellular and DNA healing. So somebody can have, somebody can be a carrier of a certain genetic trait. Somebody feels like things that they constantly do is in their DNA, drinking or smoking because from their family. Also your DNA to me a lot is like, it's ingrained in you by your social environments so a product of your environment somebody's feeling like they're a product of their environment and they're trying to make the conscious and active changes to heal those circumstances so they can now escape that environment the void came out wow. and this just i remember soul plan the faded life versus the destiny life Sagittarius, your energy is concerning me. <laughs> your energy reminds me of the hiccups. Maybe somebody has the hiccups, but it's like... Uh, I don't know. You need to heal. Whatever is bothering you, whatever hurts you, whatever is making you uncomfortable. I feel like somebody may have taken a loss... 
and it's just like moving like they said they mourn but you ain't mourn you you have to mourn you have to accept accept see what i tell you look the four of pentacles and the three of swords somebody is holding back all this pain that they feel they feel so much pain And just beating out competition. Physical work, material possessions is not going to heal this. You see, this is your mind. This is your mind. It's like a God, why? Why me? See, death. Somebody, and justice is coming out. You could be dealing with in five of swords. I said the five of swords earlier. So I'm glad these cards came out around this energy when I was talking about it. Five of swords, justice, and death. Somebody, for not a lot of Sagittarius, but a few of you, your relationship dynamic has changed. And now you're trying to find a way to move forward without that other person and still find the harmony in this situation. This is, this is why someone is on a current spiritual ascension. Because they feel like they let somebody get the best of them. And now, yeah, now you're in protection mode. Now you're in serious, and still at the bottom of the deck. You're protecting your heart. You're protecting your future. You're protecting everything. You made the best out of the situation, but you wanted to stay that way. You want to protect what you love. You want to protect your heart. And some of you want to protect somebody else. You're trying to protect the person that you love. What's the advice for Sagittarius outside of healing? Take a take time to go heal. Take time to remove yourself from people who are flighty. People who are in and out of your life, let them stay out of your life, Sagittarius. Because that causes disruption, that causes confusion, that delays your healing process. All right? Final card on advice for Sagittarius. A magician, you can do it. You can do it. You have it within you. You are an inner magician. See? Wish fulfillment. You can do it. As long as you do, as long as you use your mind, your body, and soul. Is this a net? Look at this bug. Where did this come from? Uh, uh, y'all see that thing? That's bothering me, but I don't. Fruit flies, somebody needs to eat more fruit, add some more healthy things in your life. Somebody needs to lay low, because the way that fly was flying, somebody needs to be below the radar. But I also feel like below the radar doesn't mean low vibing. So you need to be below the radar, but raising your frequency. All right, so that's the message. For Sagittarius. Let's see what other messages I have for you guys. I just feel like kind of sad. Kind of sad for y'all. One person may have gone through a divorce or is in a process or a husband is considering it. Yeah, that's the secret. Somebody's husband is considering it and they're trying to protect that. They're trying to work it out before it gets to that. See, somebody's reflecting over that. Yeah, somebody's hiding that something is going on in their marriage and you know it's not hiding it's if it's, that's what's going on in your, your relationship that's your relationship it's not for everybody to know exactly stay strong work that out with your significant other in any way that's best for both of you if staying together is best i hope you stay together if separating is best then i hope you do what's best for both of you and for your children you know all right so Let's see what's coming towards Sagittarius. Oh my God, shuffle. What's coming towards Sagittarius?
more fire energy. All the fire signs came out. Leo's, Aries, Sagittarius. So passion is coming to you. A fiery climax approaches. Wow, this is some crazy. Your energy is strong. A fiery climax approaches Sagittarius and all the fire signs cards came out. I don't know if this was God's way of trying to confirm what I do to somebody. A little bit of me feels that way. But I feel like for the masculines... I hear Clash of the Titans. Yeah, see at the bottom of the deck, emotions are running high. It's a super moon. For the masculines, I'm hearing Clash of the Titans. F who's going to be the boss? Because full moon in Aries is the emperor. Who is going to be the boss? Who is going to lead? We don't have any Sagittarius here. So this is what's coming towards you. I said all the signs, but it's Sun, Leo, Aries. So industry. For some of you that are in the industry, it's about to be who's going to be the bar boss, who's the best CEO, entrepreneur, MC, director, actress, model, doctor. Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what's about to happen. Who's the best at what they do? Judgment. <laughs> Judgment is coming. This Aries, I don't like how I feel about this Aries. This Aries feels like devil energy. It feels like came from the middle of the earth. So maybe some of you are like Hawaiian energy or a place where there's a lot of volcanoes, island energy. But... Somebody could work with drills, screwdrivers. Somebody could like um, port grinds. Somebody may get like do their hair in like a cur curly now. Or have their hair is naturally curly. Like they have natural coils. That's more so what I feel with that. So I'm also feeling that this Sagittarius, outside of it being double energy, like what's coming towards you, Sagittarius, is that magician. You're going to embody being your natural self. Like strip everything off, flaws and all. Like you're just you. You don't, you don't do anything extra or somebody needs to embody that in order to get the attention of certain people and have the lead. Somebody's not embodying their natural gift from God. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessings if we don't give up. All right, Sagittarius. I hope I tapped in some energy that was relatable. I hope to help you in any way, shape, or form. If so, please be kind enough to leave a, a like on this video. Drop a comment if you desire. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm sending you all nothing but love, peace, and light. Until next time, blessings.